Well, if you ever wonder what happens in a, in a collider, in a particle collider, that's one of the versions. It's an artwork based on the collision data from the Large Hadron Collider, which is here underground, 100 meters under our feet, and we're going to learn how that was made later in the session. So this is the first edition of uh, Sparks. Uh, we had a digital launch uh, last year. And uh, this event is actually a two days event. There is a forum to place yesterday, is a more specialized, closed event, and uh, this public event today. Uh, yesterday we had experts from CERN uh, and from around the world discussing the same theme of today, future intelligence, and some of those discussions are gonna percolate into our uh, conversation today. the screen we see how David operates in his lab mixing the black goo and doing experiments on insects. At the same time he voiceovers and says there was so much potential in this world wasted by gods who feared their own might. They convinced themselves that sacrifice cleansed them of their sins but at the end they were like me creators. That basically means that engineers who lived on the planet 4 had knowledge about the black goo but did not use it. This sketch made by David actually represents the sacrifice ritual that engineers practiced, probably killing a victim using the black goo placed in that cone. 
By saying who fear their own might, David can imply that engineers have created some version of xenomorphs in the past but destroyed them because they were too dangerous. That would explain the mural that we saw on LV223 with a creature that looks like a deacon or a xenomorph. Then David takes a bottle of the pathogen and says, this primordial ooze ripped with advanced nanoparticles operating of an algorithm based on evolutionary computing, which is essentially a form of a radical AI, making the substance unbelievably chaotic. It generates a unique reaction to every genome it encounters, reshaping life, virtually limitless in its potential and application. With Shaw, the substance had a unique reaction to the human genome. I was able to unlock new properties and tweak the organism's aggression and instincts for survival. It took years, but I finally found my wolf.